What's up, you guys? Let's read some energy. Um, I was just hearing the song Small Town Witch by the Sneaker Pimps from the movie Blood Sport, I think it's from. Small Town Witch trying to mess me up. So the message that I'm receiving, Queen of Pentacles in the reverse position, could be a narcissistic matriarchal figure. Um... But anyway, the, there's a message that I'm hearing. There's like some, like a karmic or something like that had a certain amount of time um, to do something. And this was a gang stalking situation. And what I'm seeing are like different energies. The, the message is, is why divine timing is so important and for somebody to understand why they had to wait for something. Sorry, you guys, I am medicating, so... And it went out, and that's okay because then I can focus on the cards. Um, it uh, so the but I'm seeing like different energies like coming in and out of um, like a space and shifting somebody's frequency. So it's like somebody had to set some very strong boundaries. So it's like I'm seeing like so say <coughs> excuse me um so say like um. It's weird. It's like I'm seeing like somebody like seeing having like an ex calling them or like having an ex coming over to their house, but somebody who's like not um, like welcome in their space, like or like somebody's family coming into their space, but they're like not welcome in that space. And it's and the reason they're not welcome and the reason that you have made them not welcome is because of their frequency, essentially. It's, and it's not like you have, but it's like the universe has like made adjustments and or told somebody to separate themselves. And it's like, so there's a, a series of like events that have ha happened where like, um, like, I don't know, like exes came into somebody's life. Yeah. Let's, let's pull some cards. Um, just to lower somebody's frequency. See, it's now there's there was a timeline in my head that's now kind of going away. Um, what was the message, please? Ancestors of the highest white light, because now it's kind of fading a little bit. I'm hearing Maisie. Is that a name, or maybe that's a song, or um, a singer? Uh, Fade Away. Is that a song? I feel like that might be a song. Somebody might be experiencing some bad luck because of this. Um, okay, so yeah, so getting back to it, I feel like somebody has new love that's coming in. Okay, yeah, there may have been some sort of a separation from like a divine counterpart during this time. Or this could just be something that you are going through and, and this is a good message that um, divine timing is really important because oftentimes spirit can see and, and read energies that, that we cannot see or that we cannot always see and or understand and or don't always have time to translate and make um, moves accordingly, so to speak, right? Um, so it's like, yeah, I'm like seeing somebody having really strong boundaries and like people just wanting to always be in their energy. And it's like something about your energy helps to charge other people, but it it's also like, there's a lot of like there where there was a lot of like really like narcissistic like energy seeking kind of like draining energy vampire energy that was like coming into somebody's life and it's it it came to like a, a like a point like where something was supposed to happen where this frequency was supposed to sh lower and it's almost like come to the dark side we have cookies it's almost like that it's like it's like some weird star wars shit where it's like somebody wanted to see if you could get so stressed out or get so fucked up in your head or get so i don't know something where it would almost drive somebody like mental but it's like you've gotten through it like you got through it somebody has faith somebody has a lot of faith <clears throat> I need to light up my joint again, maybe, yes, because I don't know, I just, I just saw a joint in my head, so maybe somebody also needs to smoke, 
um, cannabis or um, I'm even seeing lavender you guys sometimes I burn lavender with my cannabis it's really really um, soothing also really good for the third eye also look at my cute little pre-rolls you guys I'm so excited they're red and green for Christmas red and green how fun is that <clears throat> Let's pull more cards. King of Swords in reverse position. Could be air sign here. Lovers. Gemini energy. <coughs> Ace of Swords. The truth. Something. <coughs> there was a timeline in my head, though. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. I'm so sorry. <coughs> <coughs> there was a timeline. <coughs> In my head, I swear, I see so much more, and then once I start trying to write it down, or I start trying to record it, or something like that, it, you know, it becomes that, it becomes just a memory. Um, and I'm hearing, yeah, it becomes just a memory, and I feel like maybe that's kind of you, too, like, that's what you are going to become for some people, too. Um, somebody might be fading in the background, fading, fade. Somebody might be fading in the background. I feel like there's a song called Fade Away or something or Fade Into Me, like by Maisie or something. Fade Into Me. No, David Cook. I don't even know who that is. Maisie Star. Okay. Fade Into Me. Okay, now, I feel like with the context of this reading, it's like somebody wants you to fade into their resonance, to take you away from your divine protection. But there's something about your abundance. It, the only way that you can activate your abundance is by being in your resonance. So they're, they're stupid. These karmics are stupid. It's something about siphoning your energy, but it's like your abundance only comes to you like at a certain frequency. Like, and I don't mean like you're not like an abundant person. Like I feel like you are divinely protected. So wherever you go, you are always provided for, but it's something about that. Cause I've got the five pentacles here too. And it's like, I feel like that's kind of the message, but it's almost like they wanted you to like fade into, but it's like, and, and I'm also seeing in, in, you don't necessarily have to be on the twin flame journey, but I'm also seeing somebody like, fading into they they chose not to fade into that karmic energy and instead they're fading into their authenticity but then i'm also seeing somebody fading into their twin or fading into their kingdom spouse's energy okay so it's like somebody ch chose correctly it felt good on the body that's what i'm hearing Okay, so somebody's been really working really hard, um, and somebody, I think, has been working really hard specifically to get financial uh, independence. Whoever you are, if you are a very independent person, um, there's somebody in some, there's, the, yeah, I feel like there are some narcissists, though, that, that, that are really uh, financially um, focused and... Um, and, and not financially focused, like I have to provide for this, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like, or I need to, you know, fucking fix the world and plant a bunch of trees, but it's more of like, um, like in a superficial, like, um, somebody also bottled up their feelings or somebody wanted you to bottle up your feelings or something like that. Maybe somebody needs to take an Epsom salt bath. Um, and maybe that's also why somebody needs to, um, like medicate or just meditate also, um, get like some lavender essential oil and put it in like the bathtub that will help. It'll do wonders. Okay. Let me look at the lyrics to this song. Although I don't know that it is, um, completely. Okay, so yeah, <clears throat> I want to hold the hands. And, okay, I look to you and I see nothing. I look to you to see the truth. 
I'm seeing this as somebody is n okay. I'm seeing this as gosh, how do I explain this? Ooh, that hurts. I'm seeing this as somebody who I don't want to get in the karmic energy too much, but I this is coming through. But it's it's almost like somebody. Yeah, it's like. Y y I'm also hearing whoever you are, you might be used to like people coming in and out of your life just to validate them. And it's kind of like somebody has gotten sick of this or sick of doing this. Um, it, it may have even, I'm hearing it may have even made somebody like antisocial, so to speak, just take what resonates you guys. Um, what is the message please? It's like, I don't know. Whoever you are, somebody's coming into your life who's going to see you exactly for who you are and is going to love that. And it, and it but but it started with you first. And, it, and for whoever you are, I think that this was not a difficult. Well, I'm seeing different things now. But whoever you are, and it started with you first. I don't know how to say it. this might sound kind of cliche, but it's like you, somebody found true love within themselves and now they're, they're starting to, um, attract everything that they need towards them. Okay. Somebody has shifted. Okay. This is a timeline shift. Somebody has shifted out of a karmic fuckery paradigm, bullshit, false light crap. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's shifted timelines and, and you made a choice. Somebody made a choice. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. And you made the right choice. Okay. That is the reading. I hope that this helps you guys. Um, <clears throat> I'm sending you so much love until next time. Uh, don't forget to like, and subscribe until next time. Bye guys.